We are here today with Earl Talbot. How are you doing today, Earl? Great. Wonderful. What are you working on? Today I am sewing a man's wallet. Um, has a money clip, place for your uh, credit cards and so on. Kind of fun. Part of it, this part of it, is recycled leather from somebody's old leather coat. It was nice of them to give it to me. And then this part is new leather. Kind of fun to be able to reuse the old stuff. Nice. I love recycling too. Yep. How do you, so how do you create things? What is your process here? Um, most of the time when I create stuff, it's um, a need maybe for myself or someone else. Every man kind of packs around a wallet and everybody has their own style and design. And this is kind of my style and design. Um, trial by error, too. Um, I've got a, quite a pile of stuff that it's not quite the way I want it to be. So that's how I come up with it. Um, and on ladies' purses, my wife is my inspiration. She'll see a picture of one and say, make it. And so I try and it works out pretty good sometimes, sometimes not so good. So you cut out all of your own leather. Everything that I make is made from a whole hide. Um, the new stuff. Um, some of it is recycled leather. Some of my pieces actually have pieces of leather off of workhorse harnesses that probably are a hundred plus years old with some of the original brass fittings, buckles, snaps, and rings. That's when it really gets exciting when you can tear that apart and then refurbish it and when it gets shining again it's pretty fun. Nice. You also uh, make all of your own holes and hand sew. Everything that I make is hand sewn. I have no machines, just these. Um, I get everything laid out the way I want it. Uh, sometimes I have to use a little rubber cement to hold things in, in place. And then I have a four thong chisel that I put holes in. And then I have a two hole and then a single hole for tight spots. And then everything I do is sewn with its um, a nylon thread that's obviously colored. My preferences are black and brown. And I use what they call a double needle technique. Uh, the term sewing two ends against the middle is a real tr true thing. Because when I started this piece sewing right here, that is truly the middle of the string. Wow. So now that I'm working out this way till I get to the end, and hopefully I measured it right to where I end up over here to where I can just tie it off and be done. Sometimes I have to, on larger pieces, have to splice it. But it's, uh, to me, to a lot of people to be um, hard or difficult or something you wouldn't want to do, to me it's very uh, relaxing and uh, therapeutic. Nice. And you have a class coming up this week. I do. I am teaching a sewing class, basic sewing class. I will be uh, starting right from scratch from cutting the basic pieces out. There's three pieces in it. We'll get it to shape and punch it and sew it. And with any luck at all, we should be, have enough time that when you're done, you can put it in your pocket or in your bag and take it home. And how much is that? That is $40 for the class. And I think it's Thursday day after tomorrow. And it runs for about three hours. And that includes all the supplies? Yeah, leather, and all the tools, um, using my tools. And I provide the thread and everything. And you just take it home and enjoy it. And then maybe you'll have a a desire to try something on your own or down the road uh, we'll have other classes uh, basic tooling and if somebody wants a special project they want to work on we can have a class and 
design and make something custom for whoever wants to do it. That's pretty fun. Nice. Do you want to come show us some more of the items you have in the store? Sure. Probably one of my biggest sellers right now is my portfolios. This one is uh, hand tooled here in the corner. Um, this particular piece is a natural oak type leather where you have to antique it or stain it. And then this leather on the inside is it's cowhide also. However, that is factory dyed. You have a place for your business cards, papers, whatnot. And then you can slide a full-size iPad under here. Plus you have your notebook here. And I've sold a bunch of them to people that are in the automobile sales industry to use them for their notes and other things. Um, what else do we have over here? Okay, I have All sorts of amazing things. This is what the wall that I'm working on now will look like when I get it done. I'll actually be sewed in the middle. Here's your money clip. 